please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good evening, family and friends, teachers and administrators, members of the board, and most importantly, fellow graduates. As a salutatorian of the class of 2018, I'm honored to welcome you to such an important event in our lives. I would like to thank each and every one of you for the love and encouragement that you have shown to us throughout this journey. Without you, most of us would not be here today. Class of 2018, we started this journey together 13 years ago. Many of us have looked forward to this day for as long as we could remember. Little did we know this day would be here before we knew it. I remember walking in Jeff Davis High School the first day of freshman year. I was so excited because I was finally a high schooler. From that time to now, we have made unexpected friendships and grown away from ones we thought would last a lifetime. We have faced obstacles that have threatened to crush us, laughed until we cried, became professional strategic procrastinators, overslept, underslept, and then stayed up all night just to do it all over again. Fellow graduates, we are here today to show that we did it. All of our hard work, stressful nights, and countless hours of studying have paid off. As we leave this chapter in our lives, I hope that you will never forget all of the memories of Friday night football games, pep rallies, school dances, but most importantly, don't forget each other. This past July, we lost a very important man in our lives. Mr. Calhoun was a big inspiration to me, as well as many others in our class. He taught us many life lessons that we will cherish forever. He always reminded us to keep our friends close and make plenty of memories because this would be one of the best times of our lives. He also encouraged us daily to learn something new no matter what it was. He was a great supporter throughout this journey and he will be missed by many in the class of 2018. I want all of you to look in the stands and in the chairs beside you. Find your family, friends, and teachers. Just look and take it all in. These are the people who supported you, helped you, and loved you, and they only want the best for you. So when you leave here tonight to begin the next chapter in your life and you somehow get lost along the way, come back home. Remember what it felt like to be here right now in this moment. Remember what it felt like to have your family and friends look down on you from the stands and how happy they were for you. This is where it all begins, right here, right now. Proverbs 19, verses 20 and 21 says, Listen to counsel and receive instruction that you may be wise in your latter days. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, it's the Lord's counsel that will stand. Many of us have had our lives planned out since before we can even remember. We know exactly where we want to go to college, what we want to do, and even when we want to do it. If there's a bump in the road, we get worried because our plan isn't going how we thought it would. God often uses others to strengthen and encourage us in our lives. Despite countless negative influences, we can still find wisdom through the counsel of godly men and women. While we are all fellow travelers on the path toward godly wisdom, we would be wise to lean on each other for support along the way. We tend to often make our own plans for our lives and forget to seek God's guidance. That is unfortunate because it is God's plan that will stand, not our own. Seek God in everything that you do and obey his will. 
Your obedience to him will bring greater blessings than your own plans could ever achieve. Class of 2018, we made it. Now is the time for us to shine, the time when our dreams are within reach and possibilities are vast. Now is the time for all of us to become the people we've always dreamed of being. This is your life, you're here, and you matter, and the world is waiting. Thank you. ceremony for the class of 2018, I would like to share my wish for each of my fellow classmates. My wish for you is that this life becomes all that you want it to. Your dreams stay big, your worries stay small, and you never need to carry more than you can hold. And if you're ever faced with a choice and you have to choose, I pray you choose the one that means the most to you. These lyrics from my wish were recorded by Rascal Flatts in 2006. But tonight, this is my wish for each and every one of you sitting on this field tonight. That's okay. <laughs> we, the class of 2018, can finally tell all the people sitting in the stands tonight, and most importantly, our parents, the three words we swear we never say. You were right. Standing here in front of you all, I can finally admit it. Mama and Daddy were always right. Except for the short haircut you gave me in middle school, Mama. You were wrong then. <laughs> Dr. McLean, you were right at freshman orientation when you told us that high school was going to fly by. Four short years ago, years ago the class of 2018 was just walking through the doors of Jeff Davis High School for the first time, and we have definitely made the memories for during this exciting journey, to say the least. We all had one goal in mind, and that was to make our mark on JDHS and to make our mark on this world once we graduated. When we started high school, however, we all had one goal in mind, and that was to graduate. But we were bound together by the same common cause. Everything happened in the blink of an eye, though. You, it seems only yesterday we were forcing our minds to remember where our next class would be and trying to remember those 20 vocabulary words every Friday in Mr. Johnson's class, all while looking clueless to the upperclassmen. However, as Ms. Tyre would proudly say today, we have become the upperclassmen, the seniors who are ready to graduate and confront the world. Today, let's be thankful for the classrooms filled with our joy, our learning, our tears, our frustrations, and all our experiences together. Miss Beth Davis was always right when she told me to always remember who I was, where I was from, where I was going to be, and who I will always represent. Now, class of 2018, I challenge you to reflect on the past four years and remember who you are, where you're from, where you're going to be, who you're striving to be, and most importantly, who you will always represent. So I leave you with this. Look back on the 12 years of your school, forget the negatives, and look at the positives. Be thankful for the friends you've made, the opportunities you've been given, and the ones you've even fought for. The lessons you've learned and the memories you'll never forget. Take all this excitement in and really appreciate it while you can. Ephesians 3.20 states, God has more in store for you than you could even imagine. I pray that each member of the class of 2018 will walk off this field today feeling proud of all that you have accomplished within these last four years. And always remember, it's not about the friends that you make while you're in school, it's the memories that you make that really count. Dr. Seuss once said, you're off to great places. Today is your day, your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Where God guides, he provides. Isaiah 58, 11. We are all going to be faced with the challenges throughout life. That is part of gaining wisdom. For when we overcome these obstacles, we will be stronger. 
We must learn to never give up, no matter the circumstances that we are faced with. We must face them with faith and hope for the future that lies ahead and give thanks for every moment. Be truly glad there is wonderful joy ahead. 1 Peter 1 6. I want to inspire you all to reach for greatness and accomplish your goals. Always remain humble and kind as you pursue them. I pray that you all may be filled with abundant love and joy throughout life. Remember, happiness is not measured in success. Success is measured in happiness. I am so thankful to have been a part of this class. I am so proud of you all for all you have accomplished so far. And the world awaits for you to conquer it. So many of you have touched my life. Class of 2018, you will always have a friend in me. I will never forget all the many memories I have shared with you all, the love and support you have given me, and the many friendships that turn into family. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, all of our families, friends, teachers, and students. I'd like to thank you for showing up tonight, but it is with great sadness that I bear you the news that you will have to deal with me for the next few minutes. I tried to make my speech only three words, but Mama told me that if I did, I would lose my car and my phone, so here I am. I'm proud to be rep representing the class of 2018 as its valedictorian. As Meg said, all the countless hours of stressing and study have finally paid it off. It'd be wrong though for me to say I did this all on my own. I've had guidance from our Heavenly Father and overwhelming support from my teachers, family, and friends throughout the years. You have been with me through the highs and the lows of this journey. All the talk, the friendly competition, and arguments over the years have made me a better person and turned me into who I am today. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for this. Even as I give this speech, it's almost impossible to believe how fast the time has passed. It seems like just yesterday, it was May 25th, 2006. We were graduating from kindergarten and Jimmy Neutron and Healy were the popular thing. Throughout these past 12 years, so much has changed. Things like my voice, the technology, the dance style, the music. Throughout this, time, we have, throughout this time, we have been through many challenges, some of them individually and others as a class. Some of the struggles we went through are Miss Luke's class, deciding whether the dress is blue and black or white and gold, or deciding if it's pronounced Yanni or Laurel. I want to take this time to say that it's definitely pronounced Laurel and the dress is definitely blue and black. But we also struggled as a class with the loss of important people in our lives, people such as Coach Calhoun. Despite all of these struggles, all of us have persevered, and here we are today, minutes from getting our diplomas, minutes from ending this chapter of our lives and starting a new one. So let's get to the life lesson, the inspirational mumbo jumbo part of this speech. I'm gonna start off with a story. The story starts off with a man at an elephant camp. The sight in this camp greatly surprised the man, since the elephants here were not held in cages or down by chains. But instead, they were held down by a rope on one, tied to one leg, leg, probably the width of your thumb. That was all that was keeping these elephants from freedom. Like you and I, the, this man was greatly confused as to why the elephants didn't use their strength to break free. So he asked the trainer, and the trainer told him, when they were very young and much smaller, we used this same rope to hold them down. And at that age, they were not strong enough. As they grow up, they are conditioned to believe that they cannot break away. They believe the rope can still hold them, so they never tried to break free. You see, 
When we were kids, we wanted to be astronauts, doctors, professional athletes, among many other things. We were going to make a difference. Back then, though, we were in primary school. We couldn't be those things. We were held back by this rope of reality. Now, though, we've had 12, 13 years to grow and mature. We're now able to pursue and achieve these goals. But some of us have given up. We no longer try to pursue the goals we had all our lives. We no longer pursue our dreams. Since the world held us back before, we have let it take over us. We have allowed this failure to become our life. We have allowed old, outdated beliefs that no longer serve us to hold us back. Or worse yet, we allow the limiting beliefs of others to hold us. We fall into the snare of listening to those who tell us, we can't make it to the pro. We can't build a house of our dreams. We can't build a great company, or we can't make a difference. If we listen to this rhetoric, if we let this small rope hold us back, when we're 50, 70, 80, we have this realization that we allow this rope to influence us, to waste our precious time. We allowed it to steal life from us. This is why it's crucial to remember that no matter how the, much the world tries to hold us back, we always need to continue to believe that what we want to achieve is possible. It's best said in the words of Eleanor Roosevelt who said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Class of 2018, I wish you luck in all your endeavors, and I know that you will succeed in whatever you put your mind and heart to. And now for those three words, good job, guys. Thank you. occasion. Family, friends, teachers, and the Board of Education, thank you for encouraging us and putting in countless hours of work. It has helped us to get this far and to achieve our goal of receiving our high school diplomas. Tonight we are missing a man who had a huge influence on many of us here, Mr. Chris Calhoun. He instilled in us a sense of humor, determination, and persistence. He also taught us to stand up for what we believe in and that curiosity killed the rat, not the cat. Though we lost you last summer, we know that you have been with us every step of the way as we journey through our senior year. We love and miss you so much, Mr. Calhoun. As we look back at the last 12 to 14 years of our education, we, have all, we all have vivid images of things we did, people we met, or things that were said. Remember in middle school, all we heard while we were transitioning in the hallways was, stay on the blue. That was the teacher's way of keeping us orderly and in line, and most of us hated to hear those words. When we got to high school, we were so excited. We were free to move as we wished. That was until um, we changed classes and all 800 plus students hit the halls at the same time. It was then that we wanted to hear, stay on the blue. Matthew 7, 14 reads, But small is the gate, and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. The last 13 years have been the small gate that leads to our big future. And just as those narrow blue lines led us to lunch, the gym, and class, my hope is that all of you find the blue line that leads to life. Yes, we will all stray from that line every now and then, but just as the teachers did, there will be someone to help guide you back to it. Whether your memories are with friends, classes, teachers, or activities, they are a part of our lives forever. I hope you will never forget Jeff Davis High, and I know Jeff Davis High will always have the remarkable imprint that the class of 2018 left. The world is ours, so let's go get it. Thank you. To the class of 2018, I am honored to serve as your school superintendent, and it's been my pleasure to watch you grow into the mature young men and women that you are today. And may God bless you today and in all your days ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, 
Chairman Ogilvie and members of the Board of Education. Upon the recommendation of Mr. Chris Ropey, the faculty and staff of Jeff Davis High School, and under the authority of the Georgia Department of Education, I declare that these graduates have met all requirements for graduation. And we will now award diplomas. With the first row, please rise and come forward. Quincy Chu. <laughs> Megan Nicole Hobbs. <laughs> Forrest Benjamin Clark. <laughs> Sophia Yasmin Laura. Rachel Lee Vung. Carly Anna Rowell. Fatima Huerta. Ryan Allen Rush. Stephanie Ann Marie McDonald. Elaine Josalie Campbell. Anna Michaela White. Kaylee Michelle Bush. Brenda Franco. Cody Adam Lacey. Moises Presenio. <laughs> Justice Tangi Mariah Conaway. <laughs> Ross Andrew Rush. <laughs> Mary Beth White. William Brian Waters. Manuel Acuna. Lacey. Lacey Renee Kersey. Presley Logan Swain. Austin Joseph Lewis III. Casey Justin Spires. Cody Weston Lewis. Nolan Thomas Haley. <laughs> William Glenn Mosley. <laughs> Jesse Ray Alexander.
Will row two please rise and come forward? Lexus Marie Waters. <laughs> Eric Harrison Sheeler. <laughs> Ashley Aaron Taylor. <laughs> Chandler Sinclair Davenport. <laughs> Connor Philip Coleman. Trenton Joshua Tanner. <laughs> Ryan and McKay Padgett. <laughs> Lindsey Aaron Smith. <laughs> Taylor Brooke Hutchison. Anna Lilia Marquez. Jade Alexis Thomas. Cameron Mariah Sanders. Riley Joseph Axon. Rocio Marquez. <laughs> Hannah Lee Graham. <laughs> Bertha Leanna Keen. <laughs> Mackenzie Lee Dupree. <laughs> Renegade Farm. Yahara Alvarado Miranda. Francisco Jesus de la Mora. Seth Carter Graham. Marianne Chantel Escobar. Chloe Emil Cheney. Edgar Herrera. Three, please rise and come forward. Omar Neftali Guzman. <laughs> Kyrie Trebek Manley. <laughs> Mar
Martin Rodriguez Rosillas. Eleon Trejo. Jordan Ryan McClune. Guadalupe Olvera. Garrett Doug Balcom. Ivy Grace Smith. John Edward Jackson, Jr. Ansley Page Reagan. Keely Madison Lynn. Alexandria Rochelle Tiana Reed. Caitlin Sierra Yon. Michaela Cheyenne Griffin. Kelsey Deanne Darley. Kaylee Alexis Miles. Johnny Fontaine Tapley. Jonathan Kirkland Stevens. Jayla Lurtrell Bennett. Shelby Madison Yawn. Humberto Jr. Lopez. Will row four please rise and come forward. Jessica Avila. <laughs> Dalton Michael Ban. <laughs> Seth Andrew Beasley. <laughs> Jonathan Isaac Benavides. <laughs> Mark Anthony Bennett. Austin Jason Bohannon. Carson Jamar Brinkley. Malayla Ashley Brown. Michael Christopher Brown. Takara Brianna Brown. Caitlin Michelle Brew. James Christopher D. Bryant. Nathaniel Clay Bryant. Charity Lane Bynum. Alec Hunter Campbell. Daniel Cruz Carter. Yeah. 
Jacob Tyler Carter. Rebecca Ann Carter. Thorn Yates Chancy. Cody Wesley Clark. Dylan Michael Cope. Brianna Renee Collins. Riley Alyssa Coulter. Maria De Jesus Cordova. Leela Carol Crosby. Trevor Lee Crosby. Brian Cruz Rojas. Nathan Cole Davis. Five, please rise and come forward. Delgado Quintana. <laughs> Naya Redeem Dove. <laughs> Daquan Damar Duncan. <laughs> Christopher Braston Edenfield. <laughs> Cole Turner Edge. Amy Jane Evans. <laughs> Stephania Flores. <laughs> Joshua Ralph Forehand. <laughs> Jonathan Gavin Foskey. Hunter Isaac Foster. <laughs> Sabrina Cheryl Garrett. <laughs> Mariah Denise Gibb. <laughs> Caitlin Brianna Godsey. Tristan Daniel Goo. <laughs> Destiny Deanne Hall. <laughs> Caitlin Brooke Hall. <laughs> Tiffany Marie Ann Hall. Sydney Lynn Harrison. Austin Gary Harvey. Jonathan Austin Hay. Brianna Marie Ramirez Huerta. Bailey Jewel Hughes. Hunter Trey Hughes. 
Eleanor Jean Hewlett. Hannah Rose Hutchison. Dequasia Dwapper League L. Jackson. Carolina Elise Johnston. Devontae Henry King. Will row six please rise and come forward. Natanya Shanae King. Nathaniel Sherrod King II. Zachary Andrew King. Jalen Marquise Kirby. Marissa Ann Leidsey. <laughs> Alize Zakia Locke. <laughs> Kennedy Reese Lynn. <laughs> Kayla Alexis Manning. <laughs> Nicholas Avery Martin. Tiana Naomi Maxwell. Aaron Nicole McDaniel. Easton Ansley McGowan. Haley Marie McKinnon. Logan Keith McNeil. Kiara Mona McCray. Kimberly DeShannon McCray. Jamie Marie Meeks. Brianna Diane Mercer. Lindsey Brooke Miller. Patrick Glenn Norris. Devin Allen Oldham. Camilla Mariana Ordunia. Joshua Mitchell Pear. Elizabeth Megan Parker. Maritza Michelle Perez. Mackenzie Ray Phillips. Luis Rangel.
Will row seven please rise and come forward? Colin Taylor Reagan. <laughs> Eric James Lee Reagan. <laughs> David Gabriel Ruiz. <laughs> Gabriela Rio. <laughs> Shala Montana Rio. Stanley Alexander Roundtree. <laughs> Carolyn Denise Rowell. <laughs> Stephanie Danielle Rump. <laughs> Jose Angel Sanchez Lopez. Yael Sanchez Marquez. <laughs> Jamar and Alexander Sanders. <laughs> Marley Brianna Sell. <laughs> Samuel Sinclair Shepherd. Savannah Danielle Shipley. Savannah Denise Schrader. Jonathan Drew Sickle. Archie Lloyd Simmons. Katie Renee Simmons. <laughs> Abigail Clarissa Smith. <laughs> Tyler DeJorn Smith. <laughs> Michaela Grace Stanton. Ashley Jacob Staple. <laughs> and Tavian Marquet Deshaun's to go. <laughs> Noah Russell Strickland. Will row eight please rise and come forward. Aaron David Taylor. Deontay Tyrese Thomas. Taylor Suzanne Thomas. William Clayton Thornton Jr. Ariana Cecilia Torres. Christian Jordan Torres. 
Christian Miguel Torres. Anthony Jacob Trowell. Michael Jason Urshry. Magdalena Cassandra Valencia. Morgan Mackenzie Barnado. Noemi Vega. Tyler Austin Walsh. William David Waters. Mason Daniel Watley. Garrett Lamar Williams. Trevor Craig Williams. Janicia Talasia Wooten. Taylor Brianna Yawn. You may be seated. At this time, seniors, you are able to take your tassel from the left side of your cap to your right side and become an official graduate of 2018 Jeff Davis Center High School. At this time, we will sing our alma mater. If our alma mater students will come up, we will sing it afterwards. We will have a time for the seniors to have their senior song. And I ask that you respect the time that the seniors are having their senior song, and we will allow the people to come on the field as soon as they get completed. Sitting down by the creek Lines in the water Watching those bombers Seeing that red sun sink Mama's on the porch Yelling supper's hot Y'all come and get it We yelled five more minutes At 16 it was 12.03 Standing at her front door Katie's dad said midnight, but we needed just a little more. 
This time, you can come on the field. 